To shed some light on the visual stimuli that fire up a man's brain cells, we send a researcher out onto the streets of London to demonstrate a classic psychology experiment. The researcher's mission, to ask men which of these four drawings they find most attractive. Which of these women do you think is most attractive? The female figures are virtually identical, although the small differences between them are all important. No, they're not. There's a slight difference in all of them. The relationship between the size of the waist and the size of the hips is marginally different in every picture. The sex researchers refer to this relationship as the waist-to-hip ratio. Uh, D. C. Uh, C. I say A. C. Any reason why? She's got curves. Thank you very much. In our survey, A wins two votes. B has none, C attracts 15, and D scores 5. Our result is the same as in the original experiment. A clear majority of men prefer a woman just like Miss C. A woman whose waist is precisely 7 tenths the size of her hips. The figure that scientists suggest is the perfect waist to hip ratio. With such a ratio, a woman with a 26 inch waist will have 37 inch hips. This result may not seem like much, but it gives us an insight as to what men are looking for in a sexual partner. Women with this waist-to-hip ratio of around 0.7 are thought more likely to bear babies. They find it easier to get pregnant, conceive earlier in life, and have fewer miscarriages. These features, along with well-formed lips, high-defined cheeks, and sizable breasts, are controlled by the sex hormones.